I'm always afraid of this thing sliding out from under me. It happened to me down here at the end last year. Really? Yeah. Yeah, it was really nice. I was just out here a bit ago. Yeah, that's true. You should have to use an opposite-handed stick, actually. You know, you youngins. Slow you down a little. <laughs> Make it easier on me. Well, welcome back. Doing things a little different in this video. So here's the gear for this one. And this is another skate on the outdoor rink. And I'll tell you right off the bat, my inspiration for this was the fact that I'm a diehard Red Wings fan. And the previous video on the outdoor rink was me wearing a Blackhawks jersey. So I had to wash that off me. And I figured a 70s themed Red Wings kit was the way to go. Let's get right down to it. The pads for this game are 70s Winwell Pro 189 pads. Leather, deer hair, wool felt, heavy as rocks, but amazing, amazing pads. When I got these pads, they were already in pretty darn fantastic condition. I did have to uh, clean them and oil them and all that and make new straps for them, but they are solid pads. I matched those up with GM12 gloves, so the GM12 blocker, and that's one that recently received a new leather palm from the great Glenn Miller. And then a GM12 catch glove with no cheater. I really like wearing GM12s. I feel like you catch a lot of pucks. I don't remember in this video if I catch a whole lot, but it feels good to catch a puck the right way with a GM12 trapper. Uh, it, it doesn't feel good necessarily if you catch it the wrong way with the GM12 trapper though. Moving on, since I was going with the Red Wings jersey, I decided these red cotton Winwell pants. They're just standard hockey pants for the era. They're cotton material. They absorb water. They don't have much padding, but they're a lot of fun to wear. Behind the leg pads, I went with the Cooper GP2 knees. These are my go-to knee pad when I wear old school leather gear. Not much I can say other than they're a solid quality knee pad. They do the job. They're not too bulky. They're not too high on the thigh, any of that stuff. They're just right, especially for when you wear leather gear. Partially because the jersey is only, I think, an XL or maybe a double XL. And the fact I wanted to keep things, you know, gear appropriate. I went with the two-piece. Cooper SA95 shoulder and arms and BP30 belly pad. Uh, recall league game prior to this, like a week before this, I had taken a puck to the shoulder uh, that got under the shoulder cap of the chest protector I was wearing at the time and it was sore and my bicep all the way up here to my collarbone was yellow bruising and very tender. Uh, I decided I would risk it. I was still recovering from that and wore this. And I'm, I tell you, like right at the beginning of the game, I made a shoulder save and I felt it. it. It really woke me up for the rest of the game. And then on my face, another one of my fiberglass masks from Brian at KickSave Mask. I can't say enough good things about the work he's done on the mask that I have. And I plan on getting more masks from him uh, come springtime here when he's making them again. I love wearing this, modified my padding a little bit this time, and it felt a lot more comfortable. And then we went with the lumber, Northland Custom Pro. I mean, what can you say? It's the stick of the 70s. It's fun to use a good, heavy, solid piece of lumber when you're out playing hockey. And it fits the look for exactly what I was going for. So there were some camera problems in the game footage. Uh, I was testing a camera on the far end of the ice and that was looking promising and great except for when we went to start playing i went over there to check to make sure it was still recording and i tipped the tripod forward which means i got a nice view of the ice for the whole hour and 25 minutes we played and then the side view camera i've been using out there apparently i tested it checked it to make sure it was working or recording 
and I stopped it from recording at that point and whatever. So you only get a view from behind the net. I tried to make this as quick of an edit for the game as I could. It was a fun time. It was three on three. I don't think we had any extra skaters. We played full ice, but we had a shooter tutor down on the other end and it's a fun game. That video is coming up. If you like the video, please hit the thumbs up button. If you got anything to say about the gear or the gameplay, whatever, drop some comments down below. I'd love to hear what you have to say. So here we go. Thanks for watching.
with you.